Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to cover NiFi expression language functions that will allow us to encode and decode. So if you haven't done so, make sure you go to this uh, GitHub repo and you download the repo locally. I've already done that. So what I'll do next, I'll drag the template here and we're going to select this template. Once we have it on the canvas, let's jump into it. And let's evaluate and see what's happening here. We have a generate flow file, which will give us an entry point into our system. And then we create some um, attributes. So we have a J string, which is a JSON string. We have a J URL in this case, which is an encoded um, HTTPS URL. We have a string. So this is a basic string. And then we have a normal URL. Basically, it's the same as this one, but this is encoded, this is decoded. So we're going to use these values to walk through those, uh, to the particular encode and decode function. Next, we're going to see what are the function that we're going to cover. Escape CSV. Let me make this bigger. So escape CSV um, prepares the incoming data to be inserted into CSV document. Basically, this will help us escape uh, all the characters um, that will prevent us from having a valid CSV. Is escape HTML3. This function will prepare the incoming data. Basically, will uh, I would say will in, not encode. Will transform the incoming data to be able to be to escape all the characters um, that will let's say that throw us an error. Uh, doesn't receive any arguments and he will return a string escape html4 similar approach um, as the html3 but this is uh, this will support html4 entities escape json so escape json like uh, similar to csv uh, will prepare the incoming data um, to be inserted into a json document and escapes all the unwanted characters. It corrects uh, tabs, backslashes, it requires no argument, and he will return a string. Okay, escape XML. Well, the same as JSON, we'll prepare this document to be inserted into an XML entity. Hash. We covered this function uh, in the previous uh, video. Basically, it will return a unique hash identifier for the incoming. Uh, string value. Unescape CSV is the opposite of escape CSV. So if you provide it with uh, a formatted um, CSV ready string and you have escape characters, this one will unescape. It will give you a clear uh, CSV text. Unescape JSON, same thing, will um, unescape any escape JSON, unescape XML. I'm repetitive right now, so it will be the same as previous. So the URL decode will convert a URL friendly version um, into a human readable um, form. Basically, you know, all those characters that you see in your browser when you go to an address, uh, they don't make sense for a human, uh, for naked eye. This will help you to clean that function. And this one will help you to make it ugly is encode and we're going to see what's the outcome of that right so these are the function that will help us encode and decode let's run them let's see the outcome again as in the previous one we're going to use the attributes to json to push everything into a single payload and so we can easily browse over it with our naked eye so if we look at this we can see that escape json will escape this particular um, double quotes uh, escape HTML again, we'll add some extra characters there. URL decode, it will take this input and transform it into a clean URL. Escape XML again, applies the quote. Escape um, HTML4, same thing. Escape CSV, basically he will escape this uh, double quote. Uh, unescape JSON. And URL encode, he will take a clean URL like this and he will encode it. This form. Hash, he will return the hash value of the incoming string. 
unescape XML and unescape CSV. We just completed covering encode and decode in NiPy expression language.